Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. So I'm joining you from a bit of a different room today um, and this is my dressing room. So I thought um, I would do a little dressing room tour as it's like quite a requested video. My dressing room isn't like how I would 100% want it. It isn't like totally finished. Um, but it's really tidy today because I've just like spent ages tidying it. So I thought now would be a good time to film it basically. Um, so yeah, I don't think there's much else to tell you really. This is actually a spare room, um, but we never got around to putting a bed in here. Um, so we just, well, I just decided <laughs> to make it into like my dressing room really. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it and let's get on with it. I've been in your waters. Looking at your door I know one thing for sure I've never been so close before into the room directly on your left hand side is my dressing table now I'm just gonna say the lighting in this room is terrible because as you can see over here it is a um, like frosted window so I don't get any natural light in here so I have got um, the main light on up there which is this really cool feather light that's actually from B&Q um, I love that it was super super affordable as well um, but I also have my ring light on over here <laughs> so if the lighting is a little bit funny then that is why so over here we have my dressing table now my dressing table is from next um i will link it down below if i can it's really really good because um it's white but it's like um glass on the top here so it's all like really like easy to wipe clean and stuff like that um it's a really good size i've got two drawers here two drawers there and then two slightly thinner ones at the top um, and then just sitting on the top of my dressing table, I have my makeup bag. Um, it's a little bit mucky. <laughs> this bag um, I actually got as a Christmas present um, from my boyfriend. This is by a brand called HA Designs and they do such beautiful like personalised stuff. Um, I love this one because it's like a little case and um, it's really messy inside. So <laughs> if I just open it up quickly and show you, it's got like a little mirror in there. Um, and then it's got like all my makeup in there. So, and then I just have a little coaster. Now this is from Anthropology. Um, just pop that there in case I have like a drink up here or anything. Um, and then this mirror up here. Now I don't actually know where this is from because this was um, a present when we first moved into the house from my boyfriend. Um, it's one of those like LED ones that this is gonna make the camera go funny, so sorry. But you turn it on and obviously it lights up, which is kind of essential in this room because um, it's so dark. I think um, if I wasn't in this room, I would probably have like a nice um, mirror without the lights, like a, a, kind of like a prettier, more like ornate one, but it's just kind of essential because otherwise I really can't like see my makeup. Um, so yeah, that's on the top. And then just going around to this side, just have a little photo frame. This is from H&M Home. And then I have a little tray to keep all my jewelry in. The tray is from the white company. And then obviously I've just got like my watch, which is Larson and Jennings. My Monica Vinita bangles and then just like a few other bits and bobs in there. And then um, as my stool I have this little fluffy one which is super cool, I love it. I actually got this in HomeSense but it's got these like um, kind of like rusted iron legs and then it's just this really nice like fluffy fur. But the brand of this is called Bar Stools, but Bar spelt like B-A-A, -A, like a sheep. Um, really, really cool um, site. They also do like ones for your kitchen and stuff like that. So I will link them down below as well. But I love that. It's super, super cool. Um, and just makes this room look a little bit like cooler because it's quite sort of like white and bare in this room. So anyway, in my drawers, I'm not going to go into too much detail because some of them are super messy. But <laughs> this is where I keep sort of my like overflow of makeup, like, like my lipsticks. Uh, extra bronzers, foundation, stuff like that. It's not very tidy, but this little divider is from um, HomeSense. And then I keep like my palettes. I've got a mask in there for some reason. My palettes here, my brushes and stuff like that. Um, I'm not gonna show you in this drawer because it's literally just full of crap. <laughs> then this drawer in here is where I keep all my hair stuff. So like brushes, um, hair bands, hair grips, dry shampoo, 
all of that jazz in there. As you can see, I don't know if, how well you can see, but all of these drawers are like really nicely lined with like this sort of like grey velvet, which is really, really nice. Um, so I keep my hair stuff in there. And then in here, oh, I've just got um, some heated rollers in there. They probably could do with going somewhere else so I can actually use that drawer. So in this drawer, I've literally just got like deodorant, toiletry bags, stuff like that really, like nothing exciting. And then this drawer, I have my steamer and then all my swimwear in there. So then if we move along to this section of the room, as you can see, I have these freestanding kind of rails, um, but they're kind of like wardrobes because they are obviously all covered up. Um, and then they have like compartments at the bottom. Now these are from Ikea and I love these. These are such a good idea because I wanted to have sort of like my clothes on show um, because I just felt like it was going to be easier for me to see everything. But um, I felt like with a rail they can get quite dusty. So this is kind of like best of both worlds really. They're pretty affordable just from Ikea so I will link them down below. Um, at the top I just have a hat from H&M um, and then a couple of like boxes from my bags and shoes. And then I have this bag up here, which isn't a bag that I use very often because um, it's so big, but um, it's actually from a uh, company. Oh, I've forgotten the name of them. Um, but basically, they we got it in Mexico, um, and it's a company that um, employs prisoners to create like leather bags, um, and they also have really really cool ones that have like. Um, loads of artwork all over them and stuff like that. It's just a really, really cool incentive and the money that the prisoners make from these bags go back to help their family while they are in prison. Um, so yeah, I think it started in Mexico but I'm pretty sure I've seen other shops of it kind of like in Spain. I think I saw one in Ibiza. I will link all of it down below. It's a really, really, really like interesting program and the bags are incredible. I mean, look at the detail on that. Really, really cool. I don't use it very much because it's quite heavy and very big, but it's a really cool bag and I like displaying it. Anyway, and then coming down here, we have all of my knitwear. And yes, I'm fully aware that is a ridiculous amount of knitwear to own. <laughs> um, but I've just got it color coordinated. So I've got my grays, blacks, creams and beiges and then I've got my big fluffy teddy coat because these just don't fit anywhere <laughs> so yeah and then as we come down I have got um, my Fendi bag this is the bag that I'm using like all the time at the moment so that's why I have it out um, and I also think like the color of the straps and stuff goes really nicely with like these and stuff so it's kind of like a bit of a decorative piece as well and then I just have a box behind it um, to cover up that plug socket <laughs> And then on here I just have a basket and this is normally full of sort of like new in products or anything that I've been sent that I want to try and stuff like that. It's actually empty at the moment which is very pleasing for me. <laughs> and then down here we have these rattan like storage boxes. Now these are also from Ikea, um, again super affordable. And then in the first one, I have all of my like straighteners, hair dryers, that sort of thing. Because what I've done is I've actually fed a lead through the back of that to then connect into this extension lead there so that you don't see the leads and like I can use my straighteners without having to keep unplugging them and stuff. So really chuffed with myself about that. <laughs> um, and then in this one, I have all my hats and scarves and stuff. So I've got my berets, beanies, all of that jazz, my straw hat, which is looking a little bit crumpled. Probably shouldn't be storing it like that, but there we go. <laughs> um, so that's in that one. And then in this one, I keep my bags. Um, I don't actually really like to keep my bags on display other than that one, just because I feel like they get dusty. And also I just think it's nicer to have them away. So um, they're usually all in their dust bags. This one isn't because I've been using it recently, but yeah, I just keep them all in there. And then, obviously, that is that corner, and then I have this big old mirror here. Sorry about the ring light, let me move that. Probably gone a little bit darker now. But I have this big mirror here, and this is also from Ikea. I just realised that's not central. That's really annoying, isn't it? Sorry about that. Um, yeah, this is also from Ikea. I love this, because as you can see, it's kind of like this like champagne -y silver colour, and it's a little bit kind of like distressed. I don't know if you can tell. I'm not actually sure if this came distressed or whether it's just like over the years become distressed um, because I've had this for about, I think we've had it in our family for like 10 years or something. My mum had it in her house but then I've basically just like stolen it off her. She has another one though, she bought two so I have one and she has one. Um, so yeah, this is this mirror here and I love this, it's just, you know, the perfect 
sort of size to be able to see my outfits and stuff like that and it just opens up the room a little bit as well so then we are on to this side and obviously it is the same wardrobe as the one on that side i kind of like the symmetry of it all um that is really annoying me that uneven uneven gap how have i not noticed that before I'm gonna sort that out at the end of this video anyway so yeah same again on this side so up here i just have a couple of boxes and then i also have this hat um, this is from the same brand as my uh, makeup bags from HA Designs. They actually sent it to me and it's being personalised with my initials, which I think is so cute. So I saw that up there. And then on here I have, it's kind of like a bit of a random mishmash of things. And actually I do want to sort it out because I think it looks quite messy. But I basically have like blazers, jackets, uh, like leather jackets, coats, stuff like that that's kind of short. Um, and then I've got all of my trousers and like suits and stuff. So like my velvet suit. Um, yeah, and then like all of my trousers on here, so whether that's smart trousers, velvet ones, like joggers, um, that kind of thing. But I, I don't actually really like how this is, I do think I need to sort that out because I just think the trousers part looks really messy, especially the fact that none of the hangers match. That is very like un-Instagrammable, so sorry about that guys. <laughs> but um, I need to sort that out, I'm just, it's just kind of difficult like trying to work out where the best place is to put your clothes and stuff. Um, in terms of like what storage you have so this has just been how it's working for me basically so then if we pan down here i just have a couple of chanel boxes which are empty um and then i have this big old tote bag um again this is from ha designs this is not a sponsored haul by the way <laughs> um or a sponsored like video at all i don't really know how this has happened but they sent me this along with the hat um which was super lovely of them and i actually use this bag when i go to like the gym or anything like that which is why it's out like ready to go um otherwise i'd probably fold it up and pop it in one of these um boxes so again we have the rattan boxes from ikea and I just have kind of random bits and bobs so in here i have a backpack which just folds up like that i could probably put more stuff in there and then in here i have um like a few other bags so like ones that i use in the summer so like this one which is from zara my straw one um a couple of clutch bags stuff like that really um so i keep them in there actually do you know what i think i'm going to take that one out and put it in there because there's space <laughs> a little bit of rearranging and then in this one i've actually got loads of stuff that i need to return um just like some online stuff i need to return and some stuff in store so i just pop that in there to keep it out of the way and then if we pan round to this section i have a little sort of love seat this is from oliver bonus and we actually used to have this in our lounge we had quite a big move around in our lounge and it just didn't go in there anymore and it actually fitted in this space perfectly um so i adopted it up here and then the cushion that one is from oliver bonus as well and the white fluffy one is from home sense and then if we just move up here so this print here that is from ikea along with the frame um, and then I have like this little kind of, um, I don't really know what you would call this, like a little kind of crystal plate thing. <laughs> um, and I've just got a candle on there and then I've also got a diffuser which is from Mint Velvet which I got for Christmas. And then round here I just have another print, this is a feather. Um, I actually got this from the website Truva which has really really nice stuff on there, like really nice sort of like independent boutiques and stuff. So yeah, I got that and then the frame is just from Ikea. And then obviously I've just got a blind, but it's kind of pointless because like I said, that is a frosted window. <laughs> um, anyway, and then panning over to here, I have got these drawers from Ikea. Like I said, a lot of the furniture in here is from Ikea, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I've got these drawers from Ikea, which I can't remember what the name of these ones are, but I will link them down below. Um, and I just have loads of stuff in here basically. I'm probably not gonna go through them all because they're quite messy. But in this one, I just keep like belts, scarves, kind of accessories, all of that sort of stuff in there. And then in this one, I keep um, more swimwear. I feel like I probably need to have a swimwear clear out because nobody needs that much swimwear. Um, this one is like tops and stuff. Um, this one is all my gym stuff. And then these two here, which I'm only going to open a little bit because they are very messy. Oh, this one's okay. That one's not too bad. Um, these are all jeans. So, like, leather jeans, um, skinny jeans, black ones, white ones. And then all of this is, like, blue denim, which I definitely need to have a clear out because, again, that's too many jeans. So, those are those drawers. And then on the top here, I just have all of my perfumes. So, this little tray is from HomeSense. 
Um, it's like a marble effect tray with this like gold detailing. Um, and then I have my perfumes here. So I have um, Baccarat Rouge, which is the one that I'm wearing at the moment. And then I've got Tom Ford Orchid Soleil, which is the one that I wear in the summer. I think there's like a tiny bit left of that. Um, and then I have Creed, um, Aventus over here. And then I've got a few Jo Malone, so Myrrh and Tonka, which is my absolute fave Jo Malone one. Um, Dark Amber and Ginger Lily, which I like for like an evening scent. Um, this is a Zara one. And then this is just like a little decorative thing. Uh, my mum actually got me for Christmas, um, so I, I thought I'd put that in there as well. Um, and then moving back here these prints behind here are from ikea they were so affordable um literally i think they were like a couple of pounds um so yeah that one and also the one behind the flowers from ikea just got a little frame down there as well with me and my friend in a very long time ago um and then this little sort of flower arrangement this um vase is from home sense and then these flowers are actually from a shop called nordic home i think um i got them in um london but I think they might have a website, so I will link them down below if they do. So that is that little section. And then if we pan over to this little rail here. Now this is what I keep all my sort of new in clothes on. So as you can see, this is a little teaser for a potential haul that's coming up. Um, I just have any bits that I bought recently um, all on this rail here. And I keep them out. Firstly because like to remind me that I want to like try styling them and seeing what outfits I can make with them and stuff like that and also because I am about to film a haul with all of these bits and this is the rail that I will use in my haul. So it's kind of annoying that it's there because it's quite ugly in the room but you know it's just practical really. So yes. Anyway then panning on to these. Now these are fitted wardrobes. Um, that one's not closed very well. Um, yeah these are fitted wardrobes that we had fitted in when we moved in um, because there was like a bit of an alcove that just made like sense to have a wardrobe there. So that was before I decided this room was going to be like my dressing room. That was when we thought it was going to be a spare room. Um, so if I just open this one up they're you know they're quite jam-packed so in here I have all of my long coats um, my dresses like my occasion wear dresses um, my like long summery dresses like my midi dresses um, like yeah slip dresses stuff like that and then a couple of midi skirts um, and then just down the bottom if I can move this stuff I have like my um, holdalls so my two long jump holdalls for when I go away and stuff like that and then at the top there I just have my little um, suitcase for like carry on luggage. So that's that one and then into this big double one which is like a dream if I open it up it's not super tidy sorry. <laughs> um, so in here I keep a wide variety of things so I've got all my little cami tops for the summer, um, all my t-shirts, my shirts, like denim shirts, denim jacket, all of that sort of thing. My like thin jumpers, um, and then a couple of hoodies and sweats. So like my sweatshirts and stuff, leather jackets, um, and like other jackets. So yeah, that's kind of what I keep in there, like clothes wise. Obviously all that stuff is quite bulky, like this stuff on this side. So it does fill up quite quickly. Um, and then underneath here, so if I just move my shoes a sec. So in this box here, I keep all of my like loungewear. Um, so just like all my comfy clothes and stuff. And they've also like overspilled onto the top there. But this is quite good because when my shoes aren't there, um, I can just pull it out and grab some loungewear. So yeah. So I actually keep most of my shoes in a different room um, because they just don't fit in here. But I've got like the shoes I wear all the time in here. So my Vegas, which are filthy, uh, my Gucci trainers, and then some Topshop boots, both there and there. And then behind I have like my knee high boots and stuff like that. Um, and then down in this section, which I'm not gonna show you, that is all like my boyfriend's shoes. So he's overspilled into my room. Um, and then up here is just a selection of random stuff. Like, for example, a travel pillow, like a rain mac, a makeup um, palette holder, um, some boxes, some bags. Yeah, just like random stuff that doesn't really have a very good home. And then last but not least is the back of my door. So I have just this hanging rack um, over it 
which probably isn't great for the door frame but there we go um and on here i just have like loads of like bits and bobs so i've got my dressing gown which is a bit filthy sorry um i've got a tote bag got um a couple of hoodies just for like lounging in and a couple of bags that i use like really often so yeah and they're really hard wearing bags as well so i don't mind them being on the back of the door so that is the end of my dressing room tour i really hope that you guys enjoyed it i just want to say also that um a lot of my stuff i actually keep away in the loft and then i bring it back down so all of my summer dresses um all of my like sandals and like just all my summer stuff shorts skirts everything like that um i keep in the loft in uh, boxes and then I swap it all over when the summer comes around so all of this stuff will go up in the loft as well um when it is summer um and then I keep most of my like coats and stuff in our like understairs cupboard um it's not understairs it's like hallway cupboard you get what I'm saying but yeah in case anyone's wondering like where that stuff was <laughs> um I am lucky I've got a lot of storage in this house which is fab Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy it and let me know what you thought in the comments box below. Also, do follow me on Instagram as well. Like, most of this stuff you'll see in my room I shoot and um, it's on my Insta, so I'll leave my Instagram on the screen here. But anyway, I will catch up with you guys in my next video. Bye!